Aboriginal elder by the name of Tiger. One dog come out, run out and looked up at me nephew, might just say I'm dying. And, and he picked him up and had him in his arms. Yeah. And then the other one ran out and laid near the tree and it died. And then the other one come out all ripped up. So I, my brother said, well, Tiger, we'll have to get him now. He killed our dogs. So we went back to the car and I got the gun. Yeah. So I walked around the other side of the lignum bush. Trying to find him. Trying to find him and I spotted him laying in this bush. Yeah. So I put the gun up but I was too close. The, the scope was all blurry, I couldn't see him properly. Yeah. And then all of a sudden he just come rushing straight out. And you charged you? Yeah, charged me. Right. And uh, so I pulled the trigger. And I don't know if I hit him or not, but I bowled it for a tree. Yeah. And before I got to the tree, he hit me up the bum. And then I rolled over. I thought he hit me and kept going, but as I rolled over, I spotted him coming back again. Right. Then he hit me again up there, tore me trousers like if I had a skirt on, I had my shorts on. So he hit you twice in the legs, Yeah. Did he? And then I rolled over again. As I looked back again, he was coming at me again. He would have got me up in the throat here. I threw this up here and he got me in here, you see. So what, the tusk went in there? Yeah, tusk went in That was big, open up wide. I had all that end in there trying to stop it from bleeding. Right. right. And the white froth was just coming out of his mouth, you know, all over the tusk. I was laying on my back. Yeah. And where was he then? He was sort of hitting me and going back and coming again. And I was just laying there screaming. Every time he'd come, I'd shut my eyes and kick, and I kept kicking him under the brisket, yeah. keeping him off. And he got me in the foot a couple of times. I thought I was going to die because if he'd got me in the stomach or up the, in the groin somewhere, yeah. he would have killed me. Where was your brother? He was up the tree. So he was too scared to he come down? He was too scared to come down. I was screaming at him to come down and help me. Yeah. But he was too scared. If he'd have came down out of the tree and snorted, the pig would have chased him and would have given me time to get away. And he said, by the Jesus, man, he said, you got a gash in you like this. Yeah. So I put my hand around there and my hand went straight in it. Right. And what about your arm? Yeah, well, it was just pumping blood out this. He nearly killed me. I was in there for five and a half weeks in the hospital. You still think this pig's alive? Yeah, I think he's still down there.